Watch OS 7 Beta 3 was released to developers a couple of days ago, and I found 10 new features and changes that Apple has changed within the Apple Watch operative system. Which, by the way, before I start, I've got two things to tell you. One, if you guys still have not watched my everything, my 50 new features and changes inside of Watch OS 7, it's of course linked up right here. And there, I talk about, of course, all the biggest. This is just the Beta 3, so it's pretty small features compared to that. But it's awesome. If you're an Apple Watch fan, you guys will love this. Also, of course, this video has been brought to you by Vegan Loops. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that actually feels like leather, but it's 100% vegan and it is 100% animal cruelty free. It's not like the fake leather Apple Watch bands that you've seen before. This actually feels like leather and it doesn't hurt animals. If you guys are interested in a Vegan Loop, it is linked down in the description. And also here is a 20% off coupon code. Enjoy it. All right, so the big noticeable change here that we see in watchOS 7 Beta 3 is this new Apple Music logo. I do not like it whatsoever. We also see it on the iPhone with iOS 14 Beta 3, but I don't like it. It's like I'm on iOS 7, we had the same one. I don't like it whatsoever. Let me know in the comments down below. I've shared it on Twitter. It seems that you guys don't really like it either. I, I I hate it. Apple bring the old one back. We can now see what music is actually downloaded on our Apple Watch, which is awesome. You can see the songs that are actually downloaded, albums, artists, which is awesome. This is a new feature, definitely welcome. We've been seeing some redesigns on Beta 1 and on Beta 2 with the Wallet app, and Apple has changed it once again with Beta 3. On Beta 2, the actual ticket was in the middle. Apple has moved it to the top again. I like it better in the middle, but I mean, it's such a small change. Also, whenever we tap on, this has actually been slightly redesigned as well. When we tap on this, the QR code has been redesigned again. I love how easy it is to access because before on watchOS 6, you know, you tapped and it would just go away. With watchOS 7, it's so smooth to just, you know, put the QR code and leave. Great, great changes, Apple. This isn't new in beta three, but I recently just discovered this, so I might as well share it since I haven't shared it in the channel. But if you actually tap on the Apple Pay credit card, you can actually see your latest transactions, which is super cool. And also, when you tap on that, you'll actually see information about that transaction, so you can see exactly where you spent that money. You can see all of that with every single expense. So, so cool. This is pretty funny, but on my last video, I wished that the Chronograph Pro would have all the colors for the watch faces. And as you guys can see, Apple has done it. Apple has added all the colors that you can have on the new Chronograph Pro watch face. Before we only had like six to eight colors, we got all the colors that Apple has for the Chronograph Pro. Good stuff. All right, so if you go over to settings, hand washing, this is brand new. So the Apple Watch will now remind you to wash your hands once you've actually gone home. So once you get home, the Apple Watch will remind you to wash your hands. It's not working for me because it tells you that you actually have to have your address on your meet card. It's very weird because it's not working for me. Look at this bug. Whenever I tap on add address, it just bugs out and I've tried it so many times. Also, ew, the new Apple Music logo, it's disgusting. Also, check this out. I took this screenshot when it happened. Hand washing stopped, what happened? So, um, if you stop washing your hands, tell you what happened. And you can reply with, I was not washing my hands. This was just a quick rinse or I already scrubbed for 20 seconds. So this is Apple just trying out the hand washing feature, making it better because like this, whenever we tap on, I was not washing hands, Apple actually, you know, make the whole experience better. So if you get this notifications, make sure you guys actually, you know, pick something like this. Apple learns from this hand washing feature and it will make it even better. All right. So this new change is great. I don't know if it was a bug on beta two or on beta one, but these arrows from the activity rings were completely gone. Um, so I don't know if this was a design change from Apple, but I didn't like that. I love the way that it is right now, the way that we have these three arrows right here. So I don't know if Apple is redesigning it, but it's definitely so much better as always. Apple, don't change this. It's good as it is, please. All right, here's a very small change. Whenever we go on the App Store and we press search, the trending, these words right here, this typography, the font is actually so much lighter than previous version. I don't know if you guys care, but look at this. Isn't this awesome? My app, Kernel, 
is actually trending on the App Store right now. If you guys do not know what Kernel is, Kernel is the best way to track your favorite upcoming film release date. So these are the movies that I'm currently following. I can see how many days are left and you can actually put it as a complication with your Apple Watch. As you guys can see, I've got the Kernel complication. I tap and I can see exactly what movies, um, how many days are left for the upcoming films. Links are in the description if you guys want to download Kernel. It's the best app in the world. And then the last two new changes is one, improvements in battery life. It is currently eight o'clock and I'm at 21%. Not the best, but definitely better than beta one and beta two. Finally, we've been getting you know some better battery improvements because beta one was just awful. Beta two was awful, but a little bit better. And now with beta three, it's still bad, but it's, it's not awful, it's it's getting there. And then of course, Apple has fixed a bunch of bug fixes inside of watchOS 7. There was one that restarted the Apple Watch just randomly, according to Apple, that has been fixed. And that's pretty much it. Now it's your turn. Have I missed any new features or any new changes inside of Beta 3? I wanna know down below in the comments, I tried my hardest to find every single aspect. I, I spent hours finding all these new features and changes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed them and that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy your day. Um, as always, frozen water is the best because, you know, Frozen 2 is the best film in the world. Anyways, peace. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say.